Hey everybody, um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, forgive the uh, awful sound quality, I've kind of rigged up the setup so I can do a screen capture, um, so I can speak into a very bad and old, outdated computer microphone, as well as um, having Studio One so you can um, hear it, both of them. So anyway, um, if you haven't heard, or maybe you just don't care, um, I created a Patreon uh, page, which I know it seems like a, it well, that doesn't seem like a stupid idea. It, it is a stupid idea when you don't have any followers to create a Patreon page. But the main reason why I created a Patreon page is to force me to do something. Um, with just a YouTube channel, I don't feel pressure to upload anything because there's no penalty. Um, granted, there's really no penalty in Patreon either, but just the idea of Patreon where you're supposed to put up stuff, post stuff for your patrons who are paying, uh, it it gets in your head that you have to do it. Even though I have zero patrons and I don't even care if I ever get patrons. Anyway, that's the story with my Patreon page. Um, so every month I've been doing a Vocaloid project. I just finished up the August one. And um, this month for September, I wanted to play around with some of the uh, built-in um, vocal chops that uh, Vocaloid 5 has. And so I took a, a guitar riff that I, I created way back in probably February. And um, I just couldn't, I wasn't able to do anything with it. Um, sometimes that happens. You have an idea and it just, it just, nothing, it goes nowhere. But I decided to pull it out and bring it out for this project to see if I can make use of it. And um, just to let you listen to the, the guitar riff, uh, here it is. So it's a it's a riff that repeats over and over again. It's in the key of E major. I like using E major because you can you can hit that low E string on the guitar and it just drones. So that was the verse, and here is the pre-chorus and the chorus. And it repeats. So that's that's the guitar track that I laid down. For the drums, um, why well, keep breathing into this computer, Mike? I I don't have my windscreen. Anyway, for the drums, I'm using a uh, the synth drum, and it's Session Drummer Three, which I actually got when I had um, Cakewalk. It ca it came with Cakewalk. And but since it's a VST, you can bring it into any you know software that uses VSTs, and so that's what I did. And the kit I'm using is one of the TR808 kits. You can see right here. Oops, let me unmute the channel. That would help. I like toms. But here's the. Uh, the riff with the uh, drums. Now the drums I got the MIDI uh, from is, is a Groove Monkey uh, drum file, MIDI file, which I altered. Um, so that's what I had to work with. Um, to bring into Vocaloid to see uh, if I could make anything out of it. So let's go over to the Vocaloid editor. Yeah, all right. Um, 
here I got the uh, Vocaloid 5 editor up now and uh, this is my September project for Patreon as you can see I've brought in the audio uh, the um, guitar riff and the drums from uh, Studio One and you can hear that okay so that's in there and then I started playing around with um, some of the vocal chops that are built in to um, Vocaloid 5 and you know they're nice to play around with um, you can edit them however you want change the lyrics add notes to it um, you uh, they're, they're built into certain keys but you can uh, change the key which is very nice because I think the original thing was in maybe C or something, but as I said before, this is E major, so um, I just changed that. So I added these vocal chops. It starts off like that, and then I added in uh, Chris. By the way, you know when I first bought this package, isn't I had I bought the upgrade because I had Vocaloid three before, so I bought the upgrade just the standard one, and they give you four voice banks, um, which is that you know if you, if you figure out the price per voice bank, that's a good deal because it's pretty cheap. The problem is, of course, the overall package is still kind of expensive, and it's, it would be nice if they broke it up, just sold the editor alone for someone who's just starting. But um, what can you do? That's what they did. So, um, yeah, like I said before, when I first heard, um, you know, Chris and Amy and, and Ken and Kauri, or however you pronounce your name, um, I wasn't too thrilled with the voice bank. I'm a Meg Point English fan, uh, but uh, Chris and Amy kind of grows on you. They 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 are paired up very well. The voices, those two voices, go together very very well. And uh, the more I work with them, uh, the more I like it. So anyway, here's my, the project with uh, Chris. That's what I have so far basically and of course later on I'll add a bass line maybe some synth I don't know or I may just keep this very minimalist um, it depends it's in the early stages and of course there's no effects on this um, I pretty much always use uh, processing in the studio one software I don't do processing in the Vocaloid editor although you can because um, they actually have pretty good pretty good tools now it's it's almost like a DAW in itself where you can add effects this has a de-esser but you can add gain reverb and all kinds of stuff you can see the effects here but anyway, that's my project so far I'm working on for September. If you join my Patreon, um, you'll, you'll have access to the stems. Not that I'm recommending that you join my Patreon. In fact, it's probably, you probably don't want to waste your time and money. But if, you, if you're interested, um, I will have you know, the, the stems up there. And depending on the level um that you joined in at you can either just hear the you know tracks as the as as i um create them or you can also as uh have access to the stems and you can mix mix these tracks however you want 
I, I'm releasing everything on my Patreon page under the Creative Commons license, meaning you can do whatever you want with them. You don't have to ask me for permission. Just follow the Creative Commons um, license, you know, give proper attribution, blah, 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 blah. But other than that, you can do whatever you want with these things. Anyway, so that's just to give you some insight as to what I'm doing in September.